Zaful haul. If you haven't seen part one yet, then please click here. I think it's here anyway. Don't. Uh, it might be here. You can click on the cards. It should pop up right now if my editing skills are A+. We are gonna get started with active wear actually. A few hits, a few misses. Let's just dive into it right now. Now this is gonna be a try on haul, but these things I'm not gonna try on obviously because these are sports bras. I'm actually very impressed with their sports bras. They were not too expensive. I would say they're in the range of like 15 to 20. You know how expensive sports bras can get. So I'm gonna show you like three of the sports bras that I got, all of which I have worn, I really enjoy. This one is the first one. This is the one in black. It has like straps at the back. It's actually really like really sturdy like bloop. the padding is removable it's changeable but it's actually pretty thick so like you don't really have to worry about it it's meant for high impact sports like running or like boxing or whatever and i really like it i think it's a really good sports bra next up is this i think this might be my favorite this one is great for if you have like pilates or if you have like strength training it's still very sturdy i just like the color and the cut because i think it's very very cute so this is what it looks like. I just really like the cut and I love how thick and how comfortable the padding is. It also has the mesh at the back so it's very breathable. These both come in a size S. And finally I've got this one. A sports bra slash top so it's like slightly lower so you can just wear this and work out. And it's like a beautiful mauve colour and it's very very flattering holy shit it has like a low back and then you know it's like this it's very very cute it's a little bit bigger than the other two i don't know if it's because i got it oh right it's because i got an l i can still wear it um it's not very uncomfortable because it's so big but i won't use it for like high impact sports if i could turn back time i would definitely pick an m but i actually really like it i'm not gonna lie the bras are such a big win i also really like this top it's like um a workout tank it's in the same like lavender color the quality is so nice like and it also has like this cute lettuce structure at the side it fits me really fantastic i'm not lying to you guys when i say that this makes me look hella fit this lilac color is super interesting you know like most of my workout tops are either like gray red or black so it's just fun to have like a different color for my misses i'm very angry about this one it's supposed to be leggings right as you can see and a sports bra is supposed to come in a set this was if i'm not wrong like 19 or 21 dollars literally no lining at all it's flimsy it's horrible it's not even sturdy i don't know why this was made okay it just fell down i'm just gonna leave it there it's fine yeah what i you know i'm gonna show you more of it i'm gonna show you why it sucks look at this like when i ball it up in my hands shouldn't be able to do that to a sports bra I feel like this needs me providing it support more than it will provide me support and I just I'm not down for that unless you are exactly like the measurement of this and you don't mind your nipple showing or if you don't have much of a boob then you would like this but I think any other person would just be like huh so you know what if anyone wants this if anyone feels like it's gonna fit you better than me then please take it off my hands. I will be happy to mail it to you, okay? Just comment down below with like, give me that sports bra. Oh, you know what? Also with the leggings, you know what? I'll pass you the leggings too. Because it comes in a set, right? These leggings are way too long for me as well. The leggings are definitely wearable. If I'm not gonna wear the bra, then I don't see a point in wearing this. And this is the next set. Now, ah, uh, again. Maybe I should just stop buying sets in general. Because the sets usually come slightly more expensive than the one piece items but maybe because they feel like oh i have to produce like two pieces i have to like cut down the cost so i actually yeah i wouldn't recommend getting their sets just because the one piece items are way better like in terms of quality in terms of cutting this is supposed to be like a workout set but i knew straight from the back that because it was ripped and because it was gray it was probably going to be like a lounging kind of set i thought it was going to be cute but it doesn't really fit me that fantastic so the top actually fits me pretty okay it has a hood it's very cute so i foresee myself like wearing this and going out this is fine sleeves everything is okay but the pant it's very thin and then this band you see this band should have been used for that sports bra because this is way too tight i like a sturdy band but not one of these bands which is so wide that it literally like doesn't give you any room at all 
So what it does is it hugs your waist, right? And then it bunches up your fats. And it just is not a flattering look, especially when you have like a crop like sweatshirt. And then right here, it doesn't give much and it's also very thin. So it just looks like knitted ripped leggings. I don't know if it's a thing or not. Uh, but I don't think it was meant to be that way. I think it was meant to be sweatpants. But that's the thing though, even though I'm very disappointed in this, I do see myself like lounging in this or sleeping in this. I wouldn't buy it again, but now that I have it, I don't like get angry at the sight of it. Not unlike that set right there. Okay, now I'm moving into tops and thank God because I have way more exciting things to show you guys. First up, it's gonna be this. I really like it. So it's a bodysuit. And the thing with Zappo is that they're really coming in with newer stuff. I have been like kind of browsing their store and shopping uh, occasionally from time to time for almost like two years now and they always have like the same style. So I was actually really excited to find a couple of these. I was like, huh, I actually like these. I actually want to get these. So this is one of them. This is a black bodysuit with frill like sleeves, like flutter sleeves right here. And then it's ribbed and it goes all the way down. The thing with bodysuits is that you definitely always need the clasps at the bottom so that you can go to the bathroom easily. I like that chic, like tucked in look. I think it's super versatile. I think it's really great. I think it adds a little bit of flair with the sleeves as well. Definitely you can dress it up or down. Just a really great piece overall. Love it. I hate that I'm always using the word trendy to describe things now, especially in this humongous haul. But it is what it is. Like, I don't know how else to explain it, you know? It's, when you look at this silhouette, you're like, oh, I know, I know what she's talking about. And I remember, I said, you know, how I don't like square lines. For some reason, this looks amazing. You see, sometimes you just gotta try. Maybe sometimes it works for you. It's very thin, it's very light, but it's not sheer. I can imagine pairing it with so many things. And I was doing a try-on haul, so you'll see me in this top and like a bunch of the other bottoms that I'll get later. But all of them, they matched really well. So I'm just really, really impressed with this. Um, it looks beautiful. I think I got this in the right size. I think it's probably an M. Another top that I got, which I don't know if people will be into it, but I kind of like it. A striped, multi-colored, like high neck top. I think it's just a really casual top that I could go to school in. Very fuss free and it's just like very bright and happy. I really hope the color doesn't run because you know with these kinds of tops, right? If one of the colors run, then that's it. Your top is ruined. Final top. I'm not a fan of this material, but I really, really love the design and the cut. It's in like this raincoat, like umbrella kind of material but it's such a cute top so it just looks like you know how a pirate's wife would wear this top the reason why i don't like this fabric is because it's very bulky it doesn't hang on the body so it likes to be its own person you know it likes to do its own thing and it also wrinkles hella easily i don't know if i'm gonna wear this irl i'm definitely keeping it in my halloween stash which by the way i'm very excited about because halloween is coming which means i can do halloween tutorials i love halloween i love this panel of sharing at the bottom i just I think it's a very, very flattering top. I just don't know why it's in this material. Uh, it just, it breaks my damn heart. So, okay, next top. This is a jacket, but a very lightweight jacket. So it's really perfect. This is, as mentioned, in my part one of my haul. If you haven't seen it, again, what are you doing? Click, go. This is a red ripped denim kind of like overlay. Like it's a very light jacket with raw hem. I tend to like want to cuff up the sleeves, but this is in a size S and it's just very, very cute. And I love it. And I like that it's not oversized. It's actually a little bit cropped. So it actually is a little bit more form fitting and a little bit more cute. I like the ribs at the back too. It's not like too, too much, but it's, it's there, you know. So yeah. All right, let's move on to bottoms. I've got three skirts for you guys. And this first skirt, when I first saw it online, it caught my eye because the color was this amazing amazing like light ultramarine and I was like holy shit it came in the mail and it's really this color and I'm very excited about it as you can tell I love this color isn't this color like super amazing it's like a very 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 like saturated denim so it does feel like a denim blend it, it feels like maybe like fake denim because like you know like the skinny jean material 
But look at it, it's just a very cute like pencil skirt and it goes well with everything. I know it looks really insane but the white top with the sleeves, the cap sleeves and this, they go so well together. It's an amazing colour palette and I just, I really like this skirt. You can see that it barely has a little bit of like a scalloped hem. So yeah, I really like it. I'm a big, big fan. So I also got some like midi skirts. Ever since I got into skirts, I've just loved like longer, bigger, flowier skirts. This is one of them. First of all, hello, it has pockets, pockets. It's tortoiseshell all the way to the bottom and it has a slit right at the back. So first of all, it's airy. You can walk without like tripping over yourself. It's like that same neutral like oatmeal colour. Ah, I really like it. It is like very puffy and very big and it's also like a band. Some people don't like when they can see the shirring thing but I don't mind it. I think it's a part of the style. I think it looks very like artist vibe, like very like free love flowing. I just want to do my own thing which is very me right now. It's just very airy and very fun so I like it. And also, if you want something in the same style but you want to dress it up slightly, I'm pretty sure that came in a free size but if you want something that's similar to that but you don't like the, the banding and you want something like a little bit more put together and it doesn't have a slit at the back either so this is just your slit, that's how you walk and it's just a really cute mustard yellow colour. I've just been really into that colour. Like most of my items, like my washcloth and like even my towels in my bathroom, they're all the same mustard yellow and I think it just brightens up the space a lot. And it's also like a very happy colour. I feel like a lot of people have moved on from like the millennial pink into like this mustard yellow colour. And I just like it. I've always liked it. So yeah, I'm very excited about this skirt. I can't wait to wear it. It's super cute, right? Alright, so that's it. I think that's... Yeah, that's my humongous, humongous haul. And I hope you guys enjoy it. The reason why I split them up into two is because I got them in two separate batches. This batch that I'm showing you guys right now, it's much more current. I think you'll still be able to find the exact pieces that I got. I will link them all down below and I will also try and link the part one once in part one. So if you want to go and see the stuff that I got in part one, feel free to do that. But if you want the stuff from this video in particular, I have linked everything into the down bar below. And while you're at it, please click the thumbs up. Tell me you liked it. And also subscribe to my channel down below. I make new videos every week. Please turn on your notifications so you'll know when I post a video. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye!